Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. We had a really successful episode last time around, and we are picking up right after the end of that run to try and continue our successes. So we're going to be choosing from Witch Tongue, Vile Fist, and Cold Render. So a quick survey of the damage, it shows me that uh, Cold Render is basically our top damage guy, though he is low on health. Vile Fist might just be a nice medium, though we notice Vile Fist has the Red Dragon ability. Quite, quite disenchanted with that ability. Uh, initially, I was very, very uh, starstruck. A Red Dragon, a Dragon, oh, that sounds great. And then I used the ability and it wasn't so great. Uh, but maybe there's a secret to it. Maybe I will learn it. Maybe someone out there in the limited audience that is viewing the series knows and can tell me about it in the comments below. We are going to pick Cold Render, however. Uh, high damage, not the best health total, but he does have Death Puppet, which has proved to be a really, really great ability. And he looks like a character that would have Death Puppet. Look at that amazing skull mask. I'm not a big fan of the staff necessarily, but, uh, you know, it's something different. So let's go ahead and jump right in. One of the big uh, things we were doing last round was trying to get enough to upgrade our damage, and indeed, indeed we did. So let's purchase uh, uh, current level 8, so current level will now be 9 of damage. Not going to affect this guy, but it'll affect our next hero. So that's one of those weird things in this room is always, you're not really doing anything for this hero, you're doing things for the next hero. So we're going to pop down here and we're going to talk to our pacifist monk, our panda, and we're going to give him a little money to increase the power of our peace orbs, and, uh, you know, next time we actually do happen on a character with Red Dragon, we will uh, we'll ask the Naruto twins about uh, how he works. Yeah. So let's go ahead and jump in here and get things moving. Goblin Forest, as always. As always. Gray statue. Treasure chests contain better loot than crates, but require a key to open. Indeed. Although another treasure chest told me that... Uh, the chest and uh, things that require keys can just be destroyed. So, yeah, it's not not so uh, not so big a deal now. Of course, I need to have a power or ability, what have you, that will destroy it because my normal staff will not destroy a, a locked chest or, or a locked uh, cage. But still, consistency and message. All right, so I am not going to be able to make it any farther with my pacifist run. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this alarm just to start the death train. And we're looking for XP because we want more damage, we want more health, and we're looking for gold because, yeah, that's kind of the point of what we're doing here. Trying to unlock traits and powers, trying to unlock damage and life, trying to upgrade our character, and trying to become the one true hero of the prophecy. And, you know, what, save the world or whatever the hell. A little damage there, I didn't feel like that needed to necessarily happen. I could have been a little more careful. But, you know, oh well. What do we have here? Shrine of Frost. No thanks. Shrine of Frost, of course, some of you might remember, has killed me before. <laughs> I have killed myself with a Shrine of Frost. I believe it was episode two, I feel like. Killed myself, Shrine of Frost. Because the Shrine of Frost freezes ground, that ground then shatters, and enemies fall on your head from up above, and they kill you mercilessly. All right, one maximum damage for the rest of this run. Eh, you know, that's fine. It's, there's, that's nothing to necessarily scoff at, but uh, I'm scoffing at it nonetheless. Oh, goodness. All right, so what have we here? It's a nice, simple layout. Nothing really crazy going on. There's no quest on this level that I can tell. Lots of keys, so we're going to be nice and set for future levels. All in all, you know, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good goblin forest. It's not really posing too much of a challenge. We managed to collect a few pacifist runs, uh, pacifist uh, orbs or uh, peace orbs at the beginning. So, you know, I mean, it's just a good, solid uh, goblin forest. Yeah, no complaints. That's flight over there, so we don't need that. I do like the fact that I'm slowly becoming able to identify the shrines. That's kind of neat. Oh, goodness. Didn't mean to go down there quite that soon. Uh, we do have a Restoration Shrine up here, so that means we're going to hit a Death Puppet. And, uh, yeah. We're going to let him do that thing that Death Puppets do. 
which is apparently deal death. And then we're not going to forget to use our Restoration Shrine on the way out the door. And one crate over here. I would be remiss if I left that. And we're into the Autumn Forest. Those falling leaves. Strangely romantic. Uh, fireballs in all directions. Well, that would kind of be pointless. There's not really anything to kill. Now is there? I mean, I'm all for violence, but pointless violence? Uh, I think we can do better than that. As, as a people, I think we can do better than that. All right, pacifist run remains intact, though I'm not really sure what the point of keeping it intact is, and I'll pretend like I just ended it on purpose when really I didn't. I ended it completely on accident, uh, but uh, this is not going to be good, so I'm just going to try to get out of here as fast as I can. And uh, you know what? We're going to we're going to hit a death puppet because I noticed that I'm not necessarily one-shotting these guys. So if they're going to get a shot in, I am going to get my death puppet to uh, send about 13 shots in. Ah, the wizard, I mean, I, I got a lot of keys and I'm not doing anything with them. He's going to shield me, but I already have the ability shield, uh, which, speaking of, might as well throw that on. I believe shield protects you 50% damage. Oh, I forgot shield actually just lasts a short amount of time. I thought it was a uh, permanent uh, thing that lasted until it was uh, broken away, but no, it is not. Okay, so we can spawn four enemies, get two gems. Of course I'll do that. There we go. Again, the Death Puppet, it's almost worth your time, I think, uh, to get hit while your Death Puppet is out, because he just does so much damage. Raven. Come on, Raven. Got a level up, and our Death Puppet did a little work. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, Death Puppet, and then jump in and shield ourselves. So we will take damage, but that damage will be reduced. And that kind of worked out for the best, I think. There we go. Almost like we planned it that way. And Restoration Shrine. Crate with four gold pieces. And uh, yeah, going pretty good so far. Not a, not a whole lot of gold. I wish I was a... Uh, I wish I had like a thousand gold, but uh, I wish I was doing a little bit better on gold. Uh, but right now I think I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. Unless you want to mess, mess about, there is another portal out. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't... I don't understand. There's always a portal out, right? Is he saying there's a secret? I, I don't... I don't know. Interesting, the mystery abounds. Hmm. Let's see, can we avoid killing this scorpion? Sure, I think we can, and we did. Always innovative when it comes to cowardice. Don't test me. I will surely find a way to avoid conflict if I can. Shrine of Health, seven coins. Restore. Oh, hey, hello. Well, okay. Um, I, I guess that guy really wanted to be murdered because he was murdered. We'll get out the Death Puppet. I'm definitely not killing these guys in one hit. So uh, I think just having a Death Puppet flying about with his crazy white afro is uh, just the thing to do. Very nice. What are you looking for? Three green potions. I don't think I've found any of those potions yet, so... This could definitely be one down here. Nope. There's one. Ah, come on. Oh, is that the strat? Hit yourself. I've got iron foot. Hit myself on spikes. Ooh, that could be a strat. That could be a strat right there. Oh, we're just, we're, we're theory crafting. We're theory crafting now. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, lots of sand that's going to fall out from under our feet. An alarm that we can activate for no good reason. Our death puppet doing a lot of good work for us there. Oh, there's the... Oh, so there was a secret portal. Let's check that out. Okay, that's cool. And into the Forsaken Tomb we go. So you didn't have to fight the boss. That was actually kind of neat. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. I gave up a certain amount of experience and I'm now on a level with the goblin mech as a boss and I will surely die, but... Uh, it was kind of neat, you know? Kind of neat to figure that out on the fly. I like it. I'm pretty happy. Nice to know in a game like this that there's, a, you know, a little more going on. There's some stuff there uh, below the, the initial surface. 
Sometimes those cryptic statues actually uh, have something real and meaningful to say. Uh, so yeah, Death Puppet and Shield might as well. Should do some good work for us here. Thank you, Death Puppet. Wow, okay, that level up was very timely. I really needed that after some considerable poor choices. That, that was a fairly considerable poor choice. Okay, purchase this new power for future heroes, of course, as always. Creates an area that destroys all hostile projectiles and injures enemies within its radius. Lasts for seven seconds. Sounds great. Uh, 170 gold. Oh, I just... Ah, every time. I really want these to be traits, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, I, expanding my damage is one thing, but adding new abilities and, and new uh, options to my uh, spawn to my characters that can spawn, I think is is another valid way of spending gold, of course. Uh, but I just kind of in that I'm in that place where I'm right or wrong. I'm focused in on the idea of updating and upgrading my character's damage. Oh, okay, that almost went poorly. Oh, interesting. We got ourselves a gem, and that's that goblin mech. We've seen him before, and he's murdered us before, and he's murdered us again. Uh, he seems almost insurmountable. Uh, I probably should have had a death puppet out. I could have popped a shield. You know, there are tactics, uh, but right now the intimidation factor, you know, as it is, I imagine, with a real space marine. If I saw an ultramarine standing before me, you know, eight foot tall with, uh, you know, shiny blue armor and all sorts of vaguely religious symbolism all over his uh, his suit, I'd probably take a crap too. So, um, yeah, he's, he's, I got to get over that intimidation factor. So Cold Render is dead, and we are on to our next. We've got Oath Wild, Wraith Monger, and Emerald Render. Wow, some of these names. Okay, so uh, Oath Wild with an axe, huge damage on Oath Wild. I like that a lot. That top end damage is some of the highest that we've seen, which of course makes sense because we've been upgrading our damage. Uh, what do we have here? So we've got our first set of heroes with the Greedy trait. So that's excellent. That will attract gold to us. Got arrows and clones. I like both arrows and clones. Red dragon over here. Uh, but yeah, I think I've got to go with Oath Wild. He's got the lowest health, but he does have really high damage. And I just want to see uh, Greedy. Well, I guess I could see Greedy in action no matter who I picked. Uh, yeah, but but I think uh, arrows and clones is going to be my best setup here. And I just can't resist that, that top end damage. It's just really nice. Uh, so we could go for more health or and increase the effectiveness of our peace orbs. And we're just going to hang on to our 188 gold and go on. Oh, I like that. I like it. I like that a whole lot. That is really nice. That changes the game. I mean, literally and figuratively. Uh, it means that I don't have to concern myself with making all sorts of weird accountances for accountances. I don't have to account for all these weird places that coins actually pop in. Uh, now, if a coin's on the screen, it's just going to be pulled towards me. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and start killing stuff. Might as well. It also means that those little kills where I jump up like that and I kill the guy on the ledge, but I can't get to the coin. Now those are going to be a whole lot sweeter. So we're already in possession of three keys. I like that a lot. And man, we are getting so much gold. Uh, yeah, might as well take even more keys. We don't even necessarily have to fight these two enemies that spawned in, but we will. Oh, I wish I could make that jump. But I can't. Uh, you know, I, I like a, I like a ranger, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go with him. He's do a little work for us. Yeah, he's gonna kind of throw his force uh, punch or whatever downward force wave, which is gonna do a whole lot to uh, mess up these enemies. Oh, greedy! I love you so much, greedy. You know, maybe I don't want any more traits. Maybe I just want Iron Foot and Greedy, and I just don't want to ever get any more traits. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking about this all wrong. All right, let's send in the clones. There they go. Doing some work. We got our knight down there. He's blocking an awful lot. No complaints. I'm just, I'm just going to let that knight tank the damage and do the work down there. And then I'm going to come in at the end like a hero. And take all the credit. There we go. Shrine of Restoration, we barely need it, but we might as well take advantage of it, because, you know, doesn't cost us anything. 
Oh, are those red goblins? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they appear to be red to me. Another level up. Our damage is looking great. Our health is uh, actually just, just to the point now where it's on par with the other two characters that we passed up. Uh, lightning in every direction for six gold, you know, that's that's a good value. As you can see, we basically got a, a screen clear for six gold. Sure. We almost broke even just based on the amount of gold we got from those enemies. So, yeah, I'm not going to look down my nose at that one. Yeah, unlike the fireballs or the ice bolts, uh, that one usually seems like a good investment because... It, it homes in on enemies. So in general, it feels like a pretty good investment. I'll send the clones in here. You know, just, it, you know, it, it, it reduces some of the damage we would take. Of course, I then immediately took a whole bunch of damage to make up for that. But uh, yeah, sending the clones in there, just a nice little help. We're going to accidentally, on purpose, activate that alarm. Let's just get out of here. There we go. A little too much damage. Oh, Raven, hello. We're still not one-shotting these guys, but that's okay. I don't necessarily expect to be one-shotting the third level characters quite yet, so... I'm not disappointed. I don't feel like my progress is uh, is too low, or is too uh, lagging behind here. Alright, so uh, I need to defeat uh, three... I took out a Magus. Oh, that's the little guy that flies around and shoots things in all directions. I was like, I was reading that in my head and forgetting that you guys can't hear when I read in my in my head. Silly me. So yeah, I really do want to be one-shotting most of these guys. I would say probably in, let's say, one or two more episodes. If I'm not one-shotting these guys 100% of the time in one or two more episodes, uh, I'm, I'm at that point going to be a, let's, a little bit, let's say, concerned. Uh, wow, it's a crow party in here, isn't it? A raven party. Uh, it, they're having a rave in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they are. Okay, so let's get down here. Let's forget about that, and let's uh, try and defeat the red goblin. <clears throat> I'm just going to clear my throat and uh, just let the air clear from that horrible horrible effort. So that was probably a wasted key because he's never going to be able to get up there. So stupid me, silly me. Oh, he did. Oh, great. Okay. Now get up there and do some work on that Magus. There you go. Good job. Look at that, Legolas. You're you're making me proud. I, I had given up on you. I had decided that you were living a life of uselessness. You were never going to get out of that hole, but you did and you did a lot of work and I appreciate it. I appreciate the effort you put in. Okay, the giant grub awaits in its slimy pit. When you kill one, the grub will split. I actually like the grub boss. I think he's fairly easy, but also uh, also easily the most interesting uh, enemy that they've had. It's far more interesting than that damn mecha goblin. Firewalker, purchase this trait for future heroes. Immune to damage from burning blocks. Oh my god, I feel like I have to... Fire kills me so often. I feel like I have to buy that. Oh, that's it just, I feel, I, I'm breathing, that was literally me breathing a sigh of relief right there. The, that, that sound that you heard was literally a sigh of relief at having unlocked that trait. Ah, oh, we've got Ironfoot and we've got Firewalker, so things are looking up. Things are looking up. Uh, seven keys with not a whole lot more to do about the, with them. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We will do that. You know, that force uh, wave that he sends out could benefit us in a lot of ways. It could break open uh, chests or, you know, free other allies. That'd be cool. Of course, it didn't do any of that. It just kind of, you know, did whatever the heck he wanted to do, and then he, he left. We'll throw out some clones. Just, you know, uh, there were spikes down there that seemed like they needed something to die on them. And uh, my clones seemed like as good a thing as any, so actually uh, meant to shoot an arrow and called my clones instead, so I was just trying to uh, make up some lie in order to compensate for my own lack of skill. Sure, I'm missing that death puppet. Really like that death puppet. Alright, so our ally has been bested, but not after, uh, not before, 
doing uh, quite a nice bit of damage for us. Reshaping the level with his uh, crazy ability. Just want to get a little bit of a clear out here, and then we can start work. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, send in the clones, but I don't like the look of that spike pit right there. So uh, yeah, probably we won't send in the clones. I uh, will just throw some arrows in here. He's going to split into several smaller parts. So, you know, we might as well get that process started. Good, fine. Something killed those spikes. I don't know what they were, what it was, but something killed the spikes. So I could probably just kind of stand right about there and do that for a while. But, oh yeah, I can hit all these guys with the arrows. I forgot, arrows go through things. So yeah, you can kind of cheese it a little bit. You gotta be a little careful. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of cheese a little bit there. Of course, uh, I failed at the cheese. Cause you know, I have skills. Another alarm down there. I'm not sure that I really care to go down there just yet. Yeah, not a lot of problem with finishing off this guy. He's a really cool boss. I like the mechanic. I like the way he splits. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. Uh, it, it's too easy, unfortunately, uh, but it's a really fun and interesting mechanic. Every single one of these guys counts as an individual enemy that you're killing, so that's also cool. But yeah, by, by far, he is probably my favorite boss to kill, uh, but he's also just way too easy. Fireball. Fires a flaming missile that leaves a trail of fire in its wake. Seems like a no-brainer, but man, 200 gold. I just... Ugh. I just don't know about that. Just don't know about it. All right, let's finish off this level and move on to the next. Now we are on level four. This will probably be our inevitable death, but maybe we'll get lucky. Let's cross our fingers and move forward. If you pass without a fight, a golden bonus is your right. So yeah, this is one of the really cool levels. If you can remain pacifist through this entire thing, you get a nice bonus at the very bottom when you exit. Magic Blades summons three magical swords that rotate around your hero. That sounds amazing. So I am going to prioritize uh, continuing to be a pacifist throughout this run. Uh, I can free uh, these guys who will help and not count against my pacifist run, but also that guy will just fall directly on spikes if I free him. So we're not going to free him. We are instead going to stick to this side route over here. Oh, I think we're kind of in some dire straits here. Uh, oh, no, we're not. Here we go. We did it. A helpful gray statue. When encountering a new enemy, spend some time figuring out its attack pattern and behavior. Hey, you know, solid advice from the gray statue. Solid advice from the gray statue. So not only, again, do we have to get out of here, I believe we also have to get out of here without killing any regular enemies. We have to get out of here without killing the boss as well. So that's a bit of a challenge for us. This is going to be interesting. I can do a quick fall down here. We've got a wizard that wants something that I am surely not going to get for him. This run's actually working out quite nicely because we still got the gold coming in. Green potions. Uh, sorry, old man. Not going to happen. Uh, I mean, I will perhaps through happenstance, collect some of your stupid green potions. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, don't, 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 don't. You, no, you, you stay, stay alive. Stay alive. Whatever you do, stay alive. Where's the, where's the exit? Okay, over here. We did it! Plus 400 gold. Oh, wow. And we made it to uh, the weird mushroom caves. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, the burning smell, that flaming stench. The fires here are hard to quench, so it's a fire level. Uh, and this is also my favorite music, if you remember from my first impression. Uh, absolutely my favorite music in the game, so I'm going to rock out to this while uh, slowly but surely dying. Okay, what's my damage like? Okay, so it takes three hits to kill an average enemy. Oops. And tons of fire. Great, great. Really wish I had that Firewalker trait on this character. But I don't. I was going to free that thief, and then his cage got set on fire. So, uh, yeah. Changed my mind on that one. 
And you know, we're almost dead and we've got a bunch of uh, keys, so what the heck. Uh, let's free some of these guys so they can burn to death along with me. Ravens, and I'm just trying to get out of here. I'm just seriously trying to get out of here as much as I can. All of the uh, strategy and all of the stupid stuff that I talk about on all the other levels, uh, collecting gold, doing buying powers, blah, 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 I don't care. I'm just trying to survive. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, that influx of 400 gold means that I could potentially buy a couple of things, but uh, I don't like that necessarily that much. Oh, and you, you, did you know that you're selling the same thing for the same price as the guy over there? That's not really, yeah, that's, that doesn't really work out too well for me. Uh, so, yeah. Do a little market research next time. You know, you don't want to just be offering the same thing as anybody else. Pesky monsters have imprisoned some of my heroes. Rescue at least three of them. Did I not already rescue three heroes in this level? I rescued two. Great. So I need to rescue one more. And his cage is on fire. Of course, because, you know, of course it is. And I would need a teleport back up if I want to take advantage of that kingly offer. And I don't actually think that's going to happen. Uh, okay, it's a blue goblin riding a brown goblin thing, troll, whatever. That's kind of weird and disturbing. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, make an effort. Let's send in the clones. Send in the clones. They're, they're doing work. I mean, not a lot of meaningful work, but they're doing work. Okay. Arrows. Arrows. As many arrows as I can. All the arrows. Wow. Okay, I can't believe that we beat this level. Absolutely cannot believe that we beat this level. It took everything that we had, all of our abilities, but this improbable success story continues. Here we go. Apologies for the long episode. I just, I don't want to cut this up into, uh, you know, I don't want to cut this run here. So at any point, so it's just going to be a long episode. Watch it in a couple of different parts if you must. All right, so the spider bladder egg pouch deals uh, probably not something I want to mess with too much. I've been here a couple times in my uh, initial playing of the game for my first impressions video. Uh, I just remember dying a lot. Uh, spiders killing me frequently uh, seems to be a... Oh, a mimic. Great. Uh, okay. And you're a mimic too, aren't you? Great. I just As I was falling, I saw the top of the chest kind of just jiggle. Just a little bit of a jiggle. You know what I'm talking about when I say that. Just a little bit of a jiggle, and then uh, I knew that it was a mimic. But it was too late. Alas, it was too late. You know, more, hey, more money. I'm almost at a thousand gold, and I can't complain one bit about that. I like uh, getting uh, money. I like uh, using my keys. I like gold being sucked into my body. Oh, thwomps. Okay, great. I'm sure that they have nothing but the purest of intentions. Uh, and that's why I'm going to shoot them with arrows until they die. Oh, wow, that was easier than I expected. Okay, sure. Keys, a very, very hardy-looking goblin uh, warrior there with a shield. Uh, thwomp, kill that guy with an arrow. I'm not taking any chances with those guys. Too many bad Spelunky memories. And too many bad Mario memories. A uh, wizard that will fall right on spikes. Uh, four enemies to gain 150 XP. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? You notice I'm really kind of avoiding these enemies for the most part because... Wow, so I was right to fear those guys. Okay. Um... Wow. Yeah, so I was killed by Spike Floater. Uh, apparently, I was right to kill those guys with arrows, and um, I regret changing my strategy. Well, okay. Oathwild, level 18. We will, we will, uh, we will always remember you, Oathwild, as uh, our highest ranking hero. The guy who's been the furthest thus far. The guy who uh, unfortunately was killed by a weird looking spiked floating thing. Yeah, what a good episode. I mean, you know, it's 30 minutes long, but a good episode in the sense that we made it really far into the game. We discovered some new and interesting things. We got some new powers. We got 9 936 gold. Uh, really great. 
All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been Vertical Drop Heroes HD. And until next time, take it easy.